Munster A crossed for five tries in recording a bonus point win away to Rotherham Titans in round three of the British and Irish Cup at Clifton Lane on Saturday. Mixing experience with emerging talent, Peter Malone featured senior, academy and club players in the match day 22. And while discipline may have been a concern for the head coach, after Toma, Cronin and Jaron O'Shea all spent time in the sin bin. Overall, Malone would be happy with his side's endeavours as they were full value for their 24-35 win. Munster applied all the early pressure and with a sustained attack, netted the game's first try. With captain Dave Foley claiming an early line-out close range to the Rotherham line, there would be no stopping the men in red as they crossed the line on the 8th minute with Ireland under-20 out half Bill Johnston kicking the conversion. The next opportunity came in the way of the hosts when Munster went offside in defence. Kicking to the corner, Rotherham were held up over the line as their pack looked to punish Munster through them all. But, after the subsequent 5 metre scrum, a switch in midfield with an excellent JPSL's line saw the centre touchdown for the Titans opening try. Cale and Ryan's extras levelling the game on the 23rd minute. Determined momentum would not shift in the way of the championship outfit. Munster soon upped the ante, keeping Rotherham firmly planted in their own half. And, on his Munster A debut, scrum half Tomer provided lively service as the backs and forwards looked to make hard yards and apply massive pressure in attack. On the 29th minute, after Alec Wooden made excellent headway, Toma and Dan Walsh combined to put Munster back in front. Spinning quick rock ball to Walsh, Toma did well to take the return pass from the flanker and touch down under the posts. Johnson had the easiest of conversions. A Ryan penalty for a Munster scrum infringement reduced the gap to just three points. Attacking hard after restart, the province went from touchline to touchline. And, after a series of quick rocks, Irish international and injury returnee James Cronin went under the post for his second try. Another easy tap over for Johnston, and Munster took a 21-10 lead into the interval. Cronin did, however, see yellow for a neck roll at the breakdown before the half was out. A hugely positive start from Rotherham upon the resumption kept Munster very much on the back foot, and Titans were rewarded for their effort after Santi Sacchino dotted down off a powerful maul. Ryan's conversion just put four points between the sides, and the game was well and truly on. Munster then raised their game in the subsequent few minutes and had put the game beyond the hosts with two textbook mauls. O'Brien touched down for both tries, one a carbon copy of the other with Johnson on the money with each conversion and kicking 5 from 5 on the day. It is testament to Munster despite conceding a late penalty try from a Atoma deliberate knock-on and losing both the scrum half and second row Darren O'Shea to the Sinman late on, they had still done enough to secure the win and take maximum points from their trip to Clifton Lane. Sunday week gives Munster fans in and around the Clare area a chance to cheer Munster A on as they bring the return fixture of Rotherham to NSRFC at 2pm. Tickets can be bought at the ground on match day, while entry is free to all MRIC members and tenure ticket holders.